What's up, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your girl, Grace, and I am back with another video for you guys. So, if you're new to this channel, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe, and most importantly, make sure y'all hit that post notification bell so y'all don't miss when I come back through with another freaking video, y'all. So, by that title, by that thumbnail, y'all already know what I'm finna be talking about today. I'm not even gonna tell y'all, so make sure y'all stay tuned for the whole entire video, because y'all don't want to miss this video and don't be skipping through my videos watch my videos from the beginning to the end okay so y'all have a better understanding on what i'm talking about or whatever but until then we finna get into this video what's up y'all okay i am back let's get into the tea baby let's get into the tea Okay, y'all, I know I've been missing in action for a few days. That's because your girl had a lot going on. But anyways, the first topic I am going to talk about right now is because, oh my God, I cannot believe that this is reaching the T pages again. Oh my God. Carmen had made a video. And when she made this video, it was like a Q&A video, and she really did not say too much of anything. Like, she did not say nothing of nothing. And here come King making a video. And let me let me rewind. So Carmen made a video. She didn't really say too much. Somebody asked her a question in Q&A about a certain situation and she kind of broke it down a little bit, but not too much for somebody to, for it to get out like it is right now. And it's three years old, okay, you feel me? But anyways, so Carmen made a video and then here come, uh, what's his name, King, making a video because he feels some type of way and i feel like king still has feelings for me i do feel that way and i feel like he didn't have his closure like he wanted to so that's the reason why he probably was praying that somebody made a video about this stuff that happened three years ago so 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 happened that somebody asked carmen a question she said what she said she meant what she said she ain't taking it back okay and so king got on his feelings and he made a video basically talking about um some basically saying it's some more tea out there that we need to know about pretty much and he wanted to clear his name he been dragged in the dirt all this time or whatever blah 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 so after all that was said and done after all that was said and done carmen corey and king went live on instagram they went live on instagram and i when i tell you i felt like okay <clears throat> I can't say I felt King's pain, but you can tell the frustration, okay? As if, you know how you frustrated when you still love somebody or whatever, and you still want to get your truth out or something like that? I don't know. Y'all, if y'all know, y'all know. So basically, basically, okay, Meek, Meek and Carmen were friends at one point. And I guess even back then when they were supposed to be so-called friends we did not know that their that their friendship was kind of rocky we did not know that because they don't show that on social media so i guess when neek and karma were cool you know how you best friends with somebody or friends with somebody you vent to that person you say some things and you say don't say nothing because you can confide in that person you can trust in that person not to say it again so i guess back then now they're trying to say that neek had cheated on king which i don't believe that I don't believe it. I believe that King was cheating on her and everybody had receipts that he was actually stepping out on his relationship. Because as you know, Meek wanted her relationship to work. She wanted her family to work, but she just got tired of it or whatever. So um, I feel like King wanted out of that relationship. That's the reason why he made that lie saying that him and Carmen was doing some shit behind her friend back and she was the last person that here heard about it it was a whole big mess going on three years ago and for it to hit the fans again oh my god but anyway so when neek and king not neek but when carmen and when carmen and king had went live on instagram carmen told the world and told king that uh neek was cheating what the fuck y'all used to be cool i don't give a fuck if you fell out with a person i don't care how bad the beef is between y'all two at one point that y'all at one point y'all loved each other at one point y'all was friends at one point carmen and told you some stuff and you didn't told carmen uh you didn't carmen and told her some stuff and Nathan told carmen some stuff and so for her to go on live 
and to tell King that Neek was cheating, I thought that was a, a low blow. That was a low blow because I'm pretty sure that Carmen and told Neek some stuff that we don't even know about, but she gonna still keep it to herself because she ain't, she ain't, she's not on that type of time. Neek got her uh, a boyfriend now. They living their best life. Everybody are living their best life right now. Like everybody is just doing them. So for this to hit the fan again, I don't know why it did. All because Carmen answered a question, y'all. She literally answered a question and everybody took that out of proportion. Like, what the fuck? That shit happened three years ago. And who's thinking about this shit? Like, like she said, when she ended the video, she said this would be the last time I addressed this situation. She's not talking about it no more. No, none of that. But it wouldn't even got this far if King would have never made a video because he felt some type of way because he still had some type of... He still wanted some type of closure. You know what I'm saying? So he probably was happy that Carmen had made that video. If y'all get what y'all get what I'm saying, try to understand what I'm saying. If you know the background of this story, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is just how I feel about it. I feel like Carmen shouldn't have said nothing about me sleeping around to uh to King just because y'all fell out. You don't do that. That 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 you just you just don't do that type of stuff. So I felt some way about that situation. And now on to the next topic, Love by Erica. I am so proud of you, Love by Erica. She have a book coming out. I believe it's called Broken Blessings or something like that. I cannot wait. I'm going to uh, purchase me a book and I'm going to read it because I pretty know, we all pretty much know what the book's going to be about. It's going to be about her life and her YouTube career because she's been through a lot. We all know she's been through a lot. And she has come so far. She writing music now. She's singing. And now she got a whole book out. Like, come on now. Like, she doing her thing, y'all. I get, I pat her on the back. Congratulations to Love by Erica. Um, I'm so proud of you. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait to read your book. Oh, my gosh, y'all. So, y'all comment down below if y'all heard about the book. She had actually dropped a little quick little video yesterday. I think it was like 16 seconds long. And it was advertising her book with her little fa with her face on there, like smeared out or whatever. It looked the dope as fuck, and it's crazy because I literally I started writing a book probably like maybe like five years ago. I never even finished it or whatever. But you know, she kind of encouraged me, like, okay, damn, maybe I should finish my book because my book will get a lot of y'all attention too. You feel me? But anyways, I'm so proud of her. She came a long way. I'm proud of her and um. A Damien Cryer, how they making stuff work, even if they not, they not showing it on off, they not showing it on camera, which is good. I'm so proud of all of them. Like they all doing their own thing. All the drama have kind of like slowed down a little bit, which is good. But anyways, on to the next topic. So the next topic, I'm going to be talking about Dwayne and Neek. How they said Dwayne got arrested because he had expired, um, expired license. Like who in their right mind goes to jail because you got an expired license? If that was the case, the whole world will be in jail right now if you have an expired license. Like, like, uh, like Nick was saying, it was a racist ass cop. You know what I'm saying? It, it had to be because ain't nobody going to jail for an expired ass license. Like, what? That don't even make sense. Maybe where they from or where they was at, I don't know. But that shit was crazy. So basically, it wasn't true. Um, he had showed us on his license that his license is up to date or whatever. So I don't know. People just you know people just say stuff you know what i'm saying so that was enough for that topic but everybody just thought that you know Dwayne had went to jail because of this and that it was just a whole bunch of um different stories going around and they kind of like you know let us know in her other vlog that she had posted maybe a few days ago um basically saying that it wasn't true his license is not expired it wasn't um it was a racist ass cop and we us as black people we go through that so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know what other video ideas you guys want to hear your girl talk about. Um, I noticed it's kind of crazy. Y'all, I get more views on videos when I'm talking about how I feel about a certain topic. But if I'm reacting to a video, y'all ain't fucking with it. So I'm done doing a reaction. So we finna start from here on up. Uh, giving you guys response on how I feel about a certain video because them reactions ain't doing it for me. They, they got to go. They got to go. They got to go. Okay. But anyways, y'all, stay safe. Stay masked up. Keep your hands sanitized because you know those monkey pox is going around. The monkey pox is going around. Keep your kids safe. Keep your family safe. 
stay focused. Keep God first. Until then, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next lit video. I'm gone. Peace out.